Hey there guys, what's going on? John Fears, audience, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a fantastic day. Things are going pretty good. I caught up on some sleep. Yesterday the convention went from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. So it was a long day, but it was a good day. And so I caught up on some sleep, so I'm only going to be one hour late, because the convention goes from about 10 to about 5, or 5.30, something like that, and it is 11.36, so not too late. But I had to catch up on some sleep. Happy Father's Day, by the way, to all you fathers out there. Uh, I had breakfast with my parents, and I bought my dad uh, a shirt, and bought him some clothes, and it was a pretty good Father's Day. He, he enjoyed his gift. My mom made pancakes. And it was good. It was really good. Anyway, this is day two of St. Louis Comic Con. I'm really looking forward to it. I got a lot of footage yesterday, guys. A lot. And uh, I can't wait to add to that footage today. Hopefully I won't see any spooks, specters, or ghosts. Classic Ghostbuster quote. Had to throw it in there. I gotta say, guys, that going to this convention has been amazing. Uh, and one of the biggest things that I took out of it was meeting the Blue Ranger, uh, David Yost. He was the nicest guy. Nicest guy. He came up, he said, hello, my name's David, how are you? I said, hello, I'm John. And he said, did you watch the show? And I said, absolutely, sir. And he asked me like, what some of my favorite episodes were. I told him what some of my favorite episodes were. Uh, he made out a little signature. He's like, do I make this out to John or do I make it out to Fears? And sometimes I jump back and forth. Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, just make it out to Fears. Sometimes I'm like, make it out to John. So it just depends on my mood. And I made it out to John and I said, thank you very much. And he's like, hey, no problem. He's like, you want to get a couple pictures? We took like three or four pictures together. and. He's like, do you want to hold, uh, you know, the helmet up, or do you want to hold the power morpher up? I was like, I was like, I gotta be a little kid in a candy store, man. I'm like, I gotta hold the power morpher up. He's like, yeah, absolutely. He's like, grab the power morpher. I'm like, oh, sweet, thank you. And uh, yeah, that was one of my fondest memories of this convention. It was great. Uh, I can't wait to get there. I'm, I'm on the way to the convention center right now. There's a little bit of traffic, so I should get there soon. I think it says I should get there right at 12 because it's 1130 something but uh, yeah we're almost there guys I wanted to show you guys these yesterday I did not have a chance to show you guys but check out these movie cars over here so you got the uh, the st. Louis version of the Ghostbuster car very nice got the symbol there and then we've got the zombie response vehicle look at this this is amazing extra tire on the top spikes here a ramming rod that's pretty amazing made it second day um, today I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna buy all my stuff that I need to get so uh, I'm gonna make my rounds, 
get a little bit of video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy uh, some stuff that I saw yesterday, but today's the day that you wanna get all the deals. So whenever you come to a convention, don't always buy anything the first day. Always wait to the very last day, because then you can talk the vendors down. So, Fears is gonna go do that right now. Fears is not trying to be a stickler here, but look at some of these prices with food. Okay, what do we got? So, for a pretzel, they want four seventy-five. So, for today's special, they want eight fifty. A deli sandwich is seven dollars and fifty cents. So, you see a pattern going here? Yeah, it's horrible. Look at some of those prices. It's a ripoff. Are you in line? I'm not in line. I'm not in line. You go ahead, sir. Uh, but yeah, I would never buy food from the convention center unless I was like starving for food. I always try and eat before because they charge you an arm and a leg to eat that food at the convention center. So always be sure to eat a big breakfast or a big lunch before you guys come. I really have just been walking around guys and I just got some more Ghostbuster stuff. And there's a fair amount of Ghostbuster uh, things at this convention. So. It's, it's, it's been a pretty decent convention. Wizard World and all the other ones are definitely a lot bigger, but it's still a good, decent convention. I would I would recommend it. St. Louis Comic Con, go to stlouiscomiccon.com and check it out for yourself. Still at the con. Uh, I haven't been filming a lot today, but I thought I'd just give you an update. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. Patrick, hello, as always. Uh, I just wanna let you know, I, I was talking to somebody that works at the con, I'm going to give her a copy of all the footage that I did today and a little bit of yesterday and I think she's going to break it up, put it on the Facebook page of St. Louis Comic Con and put it on her website. So, Fears is making making new contacts, we're making new deals, getting the footage out there. So I'm pretty excited because uh, someone said, hey Fears, you should go talk to her and I was like, she probably wouldn't even give me the time of day, but she did and that's awesome that they definitely want a copy of my footage, so that's pretty cool. Patrick, moving up in the world, buddy. This is pretty awesome. Uh, I just got done talking with Kat. Her name's Kat. She, she's the uh, manager of uh, St. Louis Comic Con. And I gave her a copy of my footage uh, of today. And I told her, I said, the rest of the footage is at my house. So I said, give me a week or two. I'm going to buy a little hard drive, dump all the footage on it, mail it to her. And uh, she said that she's going to put bits and pieces of my footage on the website, like like the best bits that I got on her website, and then they're gonna put a lot of the footage on the Facebook page, and she's gonna give me credit, and she said every time we put up a piece of footage, I'm gonna say footage provided by John Fears, and then she's gonna give a link to my YouTube channel. So that's pretty awesome, and uh, that's the first time like that's ever happened. So, uh, and I wish I would have thought of that before. Like my, my friend told me that's here, and he said, John, you should go see about giving them a copy of the footage. I mean, so, like it's different like a contamination. Like Dave's my friend, so of course I would give him a copy of the footage because he's my buddy. But that lady I didn't know, you know, Kat, and so it's a lot different. But it's cool that like I, I worked everything out, and I was like, man, Fears feels kind of like a business guy. I was like, hey, if you ever need my services, let me know. And, and she watched some of my videos, and she said, wow, she's like, you do really good at filming stuff and I showed her one of my edited uh, pieces and she was like you're a really good editor and I was like wow I'm like I really appreciate you saying that ma'am I really mm. Mm. I'm very tired I didn't film much today but you guys pretty much got the uh, gist of the con buddy buddy he's kind of shy when I was telling him I didn't film much, he was very disappointed. He's like, Fears, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that you didn't film much. And I'm like, oh, I'm tired. So anyway, buddy, I love you. Stay puff. Put some chocolate on there. Make him into a marshmallow square. Eat, eat those. That actually sounds pretty good right now. Marshmallows with chocolate and the, uh, uh, the s'mores. I, I could go for a s'more right now. But it's a pretty good kind, guys. Pretty good con. So um, I don't know when the next con is gonna be, but I think the next con I'm going to, the next one I know of is Dave's, and that's in November. But if I can find a con to go to before Dave's, then I'll definitely hit that one up too. But I'll keep you guys posted. One tier, everybody's packing up. Patrick, how was the con, buddy? A lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. 
Make sure you uh, pack this up. This is one of those important things. Make sure the uh, the blanket is on it, ready to rock and roll. Do you put that over it? Only if it's raining. Oh, gotcha. Well, it was good. Don't forget to check out Gateway City Ghostbusters. Fears will eventually join this club. Patrick, you have my seal of approval. I'm gonna get the jumpsuit together, my friend. I'm gonna try and get the, the pack and the gun, and the goggles as quickly as possible. But as long as I got the jumpsuit and and and, and the and the uh, what are these things again? Uh, logos. No, 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 these. Elbow pads. So as long as I got the elbow pads and the jumpsuit and, and the logos, then Fears will officially join. But I need to get that stuff ASAP. But anyway, I'm glad you had fun, buddy. I had fun. Now I gotta go to the coffee shop and edit all this <laughs> and waste more hours of my life. I spend more hours online editing footage than probably any human being alive. There you are. But it's what Fears loves. And I love your I love your uh, I love your fake mustache. What's fake mustache? Fake mustache for the win. Well we all know that Fears loves hippie mustaches and hippie beards and hippie hair. I don't know why I have an obsession with hippies, so I love the fake uh, and it's it's like one of those twirly ones too. So there you go. Right on. If you're gonna do it, go for the gusto. Yeah, yeah, just do the little twirl on the mustache. So, exactly. I'm very tired. Last few days I've been working a lot, so uh, if fears yawns on the vlog, I apologize. But it is a nice, sunny day. Can't ask for much more than that. It was a great convention. Two day con. I believe the next convention I'm going to is my buddy Dave's. That's contamination, and that's in November. But I really hope I can find another one before that. And keep the convention thing going and get some footage but man i had a good time it was a really good time guys i hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs hope you guys have been enjoying the streams uh fears has definitely got a better positive attitude because i'm not letting the, the trolls anymore uh control my friggin' life and control my anger and all that that's just what they want they want me to get angry they want me to get like stressed out and i just refuse to do it anymore you know it's just stupid you know, if they're gonna have hate, you know, hate in their heart and no love, then you know, go watch somebody else's channel. You don't have to watch my channel, you know. So I'm gonna keep my channel nothing but positive vibes, fun times, and you know, just hanging out with your buddy fears. And uh, the next couple of vlogs, I think I'm taking my friend Mike Rizzo's uh, advice, and uh, we're gonna go to uh, St. Louis Zoo. And uh, I thought about going to the St. Louis Arch again, you know, revamping that, because I already did it in a vlog, but I thought we could always do it again. And uh, seriously thinking about taking you guys to the, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, Science Center, because I haven't been to the Science Center, St. Louis Science Center in forever. And then eventually get down to Branson to go to that movie car, um, that movie car uh, uh, museum, because they said that's definitely worth checking out. But uh, we'll see what happens. Fears, coffee. I'm gonna drop my coffee cup. It's time to end the vlog. Well guys, we have made it to the coffee shop. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. I know I have. And uh, many more vlogs to come. Like I said, in the next couple of days, weeks, uh, I'm gonna try and take you guys to more exciting places. I found out that St. Charles does like a little tram ride. So I thought about doing that, like a little tram like tour around St. Charles. So uh, we'll see what viewers can come up with. Anyway, I'm gonna take off. But uh, this is John Fears, and I'll see you later.